Welcome to my Kadam Academy. This is the numerical based on the mechanical vibration, free damp vibration, flywheel and torsional spring is the example for the flywheel and the torsional spring. The single degree of freedom we are going to consider in this numerical. The example I will read the flywheel of mass 20 kg, how much 20 kg or radius of gyration is 0.3 meter for this flywheel and the torsional vibration are under the torsional spring the torsional vibration under the torsional spring in this case the torsional spring is there not a linear spring or the this spring we studied in the last lectures or the various videos this is the different than the other videos here stiffness of the torsional spring is 5 newton meter per radian okay so discuss uh, the viscous damper is fitted to reduce what the amplitude and that factor by 100 over the two cycles that means the two cycles are there that uh, damping already we have studied it is goes on reducing so here between these two cycles so what will the 100 the factor 100 over the two cycle complete cycle means suppose the x1 is first cycle x2 x3 like this two cycles after completion the x1 and by x3 become it will the 100 so like this we can do it okay so what we have to find out the damping factor we have to find out that means the zeta and in this case zeta we have to find out and the damping coefficient we have to find out and the damp time period okay the time required periodic time required for the oscillation td we have to find out so friend what we will do we will solve the numerical what is the given to you given data to you the mass of flywheel is 20 kg the radius of gyration small k 0.3 meter and this stiffness for this torsional spring see this is the torsional spring which will create a, a torsional vibration so 5 newton meter per radian the number of cycles are 2 okay friend what we have to find out we have to find out the damping factor the damping factor we can calculate by using the different formulas are there so in this we are going to find out this damping factor by using the formula that is the this del means the logarithmic decrement why we are considering logarithmic decrement in this case you hear the value of the this cycles are given to you you know the from that you can calculate the the logarithmic decrement and from logarithmic decrement you can calculate this damping factor so i will write this formula here zeta is equal to 4 pi square plus del square del upon under root of 4 pi square plus del square that is the formula for this your zeta but in this formula what we require we require the value of del so how to find the value of del that del means nothing but the logarithmic decrement for this cycle so suppose this is a cycle here suppose this is a cycle it is goes on decreasing so this logarithmic decrement okay that del you okay, can find out but what is the formula the amplitude ratio we know here amplitude ratio we know like this suppose the x0 is the first amplitude for this here x0 suppose this is the x0 so next will be the x0 by x1 that ratio is given to us that is the 100 but how much the dn value is there that is the 2 means what the x0 by x2 is value known to us x0 suppose x1 is x2 like this this value is uh, known to us for this the it is given clearly a viscous damper is fitted to reduce amplitude by factor 100 over two complete cycles over two complete cycles it is given in the numerical itself so you have to read numerical carefully and all the answers you get from that you can take the decision the mass moment of inertia also we can calculate by using the radius of gyration and why it is required to find out this uh, in the next part of this uh, numerical 
the omega n but what we have to find out now here del means logarithmic decrement what is the formula for logarithmic decrement that del is equal to 1 by n okay log to the base e that x0 by x n okay this is the your formula but in this case the del we can calculate n is nothing but the your value 2 okay so this 2 is written here up to this e this x0 by xn means x0 by x2 here x0 by xn or x0 by x2 is 100 is given to you so i'll write so this value we have to put here is 100 how much we have to put here 100 so we'll get the value of del here 2.305 this value is nothing but the value of del but this del not where to, where to calculate this one in step one okay this is the step one where to calculate this zeta means damping ratio it's putting this value in this formula we'll calculate the value of zeta I'll write here 2.305 upon root of 4 pi square plus del is 2.305 bracket square so what will happen in this case the total value becomes right calculator pay my kib so you get the value 0 0.344 what is the value I got the value 0 0.344 this is the damping factor. This one point we have just calculated. Now we will find out the damping coefficient. Step 2. What is the next step? Step 2 here. In this step, the C we have to find out. What value we have to find out? The C. But this is the as torsional. So we can write the C tau. Okay. So this C tau we have to find out. How we can find out? As we know, in this uh, torsional vibration, so oh, this uh, zeta is equal to c tau upon two into i into omega n. So in this case, we have to find out the c tau. We know this zeta and i we can find out by using the given data what is the given data m is given to you that means the this is the i for what disk now disk this clearly i'm going to this is for the disk okay or flywheel you can say the flywheel for flywheel we have to find out the value of i how you can find out the i by using this m k square k is the radius of variation m is the mass mass into radius of variation radius of variation for this flywheel is 0.3 square so what is the value for this one is 1.8 kg meter square this is the value of i and similarly here we required in this formula omega n omega n is equal to this k is different this k is different okay this is the stiffness upon m yeah, mass under root of k by m you get the natural frequency for this system vibrating system so what, how, what will the value so k is the value means the here kt here kt is the spring stiffness for this in this case it will write for torsional spring stiffness is 5 newton meter per radian and in denominator m is 20 kg you can write like this or oh, no no sorry this is a 2 kg so this will value become i will write omega n here 1.666 radian per second i will write here radian per second okay. both are same but what we have to find out 
CT. CT becomes zeta into twice R omega n. Correct. So I will write the value directly. Putting the value of zeta, we know here value of the already we are calculated here the damping factor. Del already we are calculated here. The omega also we have calculated. This I we also we have calculated. So what we have to find out here? City. City means what? Damping coefficient. This is the city we have to find out. Damping coefficient we have to find out for the torsional. As it is torsional vibration, it is the city. So this city is equal to. I write the value directly. Two point. Three zero two five. What is the its unit? C unit is important. Newton meter per what? Second. Yes, second is diminishing radian. That is important. And then again here, C T is equal to two point three zero two five Newton meter second per radian. This is the value for distortional. Vibration of the torsional vibration condition. In this case, okay. So C T must be found out. Value of C T. So this is the damping coefficient for the of a damper. In this torsional vibration, damping coefficient. This is the damping coefficient. Of a damper. Correct. So what is the remaining now? The remaining for the calculation for the periodic time of damp oscillation. Periodic time of damp is remaining. So that we can find out now. Third step. What is the third step? Step three. In this step, what we have to find out? The periodic time of oscillation. A TD. That means we have to find out the value of TD. How to find out the value of TD? We know that TD equal to What is the formula? Just try to be my the two pi by two pi by omega d. That is the damp frequency. This is the damp frequency. That we have to find out first. But how to find out damp frequency? That damp frequency you can find out by using the formula is omega n into under root of one minus the zeta square. As we know, this value of omega n here 1.66 zeta 0.344. So we can calculate here this putting the value of this 1.66 and 0.33 in this formula. We we'll get and uh, write the value here directly. That means the 1.5648 radian per second. See this value. This value. Is approximately near about, and this WD means the damp frequency always less than the this natural frequency. So that that will be verification to you. Okay. So next it is equal to two pi by this omega d means two pi upon one point five six four. So what is the value of TD? That will be the four point zero one second. This is your answer for this TD is four point zero one second. This is your final answer. So friend, we have taken TD nikala hai, okay? So we have taken zeta bhi nikala hai, and we have just calculated here the value of this damping coefficient. Coefficient, this damping factor. And this is a TD we have already calculated. So friends, if you are not subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel Kadar Academy. What are the outcomes of this video of mathematical modeling for this all the vibrating system? Write down three outcomes. And friends, here you always learn by self-assessment only, and you have to. Subscribe my channel, Kadam Academy. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe it.